Today I am attempting to make the Bleeding Skull Candle. This is a Dollar Tree DIY that I've been seeing everywhere and it looks so cool. I think it's probably gonna be a lot harder than I think it's gonna be. This DIY was so much harder than I thought it was gonna be and just a warning, it does kind of fail but it also turns out kind of cool. I think it's worth watching. Let's see. I completely forgot to film this part but the first step is just taking your candles and putting them in something that they can melt in. So we put them in mason jars, put the mason jars in water and let that boil. That's going to let your wax melt. Grab one of the wicks from your candles and set it aside because we're gonna use that for our skull candle. All the videos I've been seeing, they just start by cutting a hole in the top of the skull, casually performing brain surgery here. Almost have part of the skull removed. There we go. I don't know if that's a big enough hole or not, but we're gonna find out. I feel like this is gonna be the hardest part. I'm gonna take the hot glue and put it on this other wick and then try to quickly get it put into the bottom of our skull. Aha, I think I did it. I think I actually got it to the bottom of the skull. Oh, you got it? Yeah. I was just gonna pour on top of the You got this. <laughs> well, Leaving you. That'll work. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna pour quick. Mm-hmm. All of it? Uh, no, because I gotta rotate him. <gasps> it's coming out the bottom. Oh no, he's leaking. There's a hole. We gotta rotate him. And we gotta try to get the wax to be all over the skull. Oh my gosh, she's leaking so much. I put hot glue it's, on it. Let me just like wait for it to cool for a second. Mm -hmm. Blow it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very holy, it's run out of his Leaky. nose holes. <laughs> he ran out of his nose holes? <laughs> well, this may be a fail. That's okay. Realistic crafting. <laughs> I think I should give you something cold. To put him in? To like set him on, just like a bag of something. Like a <gasps> bag of peas. I'm just continuously rotating this and letting the white wax get on the outside of the skull. And the goal is we're going to have the outside of it be white. And then we're gonna pour the red wax in the middle. And then whenever you burn the candle, it'll look like the skull is bleeding. We're gonna try putting them in a bed of vegetables. Seeing if it'll cool it down as I rotate it. It's cooled around the edges. There's no more running on the inside. We're gonna let this fully harden for the next like three or four hours and then do the red. The white wax is all cooled inside of our little skeleton, so it's time to pour in the red wax. It's called trust your mama. I trust you. <laughs> kind of, <laughs> as I pull my hand away. <laughs> See it filling up. I think that's gonna work. Our wax has finally hardened. It's time to attempt to cut off the plastic skull and reveal our skull candle. I'm using these little crafting knives. I'm going to very gently cut down the back of the skull. I hope I'm cutting deep enough to actually be cutting the plastic. <laughs> they make this look so easy in these tutorials, y'all. This is not easy at all. I definitely see a lot of air bubbles forming under here. Okay, we're starting to get it. I am finally <laughs> starting to be able to peel this plastic off and I'm just like cutting it off little piece by little piece. This is like 200 times harder than I thought it was gonna be. Into that place though where you can start ripping it off. Maybe it might not be cut enough. It's starting to wiggle. It's starting to really, really wiggle. Oh my gosh, wait. I know it's messed up, but like overall, that looks really stinking cool. I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna go down here and just kind of smooth over the edges a little bit. Fix the top a little bit. So part of the candle up here is a little bit of a different color. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. His head wasn't completely full and we used all of the red. And I had a candle that was like mainly red, but a little bit of orange tint to it. <laughs> And rather than go buy a whole new candle or anything like that, I was just like, well, I could just use this candle that we have just laying around. So used that candle to fill in the top of his head. This was kind of a hard DIY. Like if I wanted to actually do this and make it look really, really good, I think it would be way harder. But for what it is, this is pretty dang cool. I'm gonna cut the wick to right there. And that's our skull candle. Let's light it and see what it looks like. All we have left to do is light it. In four hours and it's still not bleeding, so I'm gonna blow it out and we'll try it again tomorrow. 
It burned for like four hours yesterday and about five hours today and it's still not bleeding. I have been burning this candle every day for a week and it never became a bleeding candle the way that we wanted it to. It didn't like spill over the top. I think that the wick was too far in the back. I needed the wick to be closer to the front. But overall, considering we DIY this candle for about $5, I am absolutely obsessed with the way that it turned out.